News for Jaxis and Chief Meteorologist David Heckard. Well, we've hit a bit of a dry spell across much of the region as we closed out November and now head into the start of December. And that's despite the fact that November was actually above average in rainfall. The Jacksonville Airport ended up with over three inches of rainfall. That's nearly an inch plus above average. But a lot of that was based of Hurricane Nicole, which you remember impacted the state in the early part of November. In fact, since Nicole, we've only picked up about a little over a quarter of an inch of rainfall at the Jacksonville Airport and some of our western areas are now really beginning to dry out. In fact, the updated drought monitor that came has come into the Weather Center. You can see almost lining up directly right along the I-75 corridor here. We are seeing conditions really beginning to go downhill. In fact, you can see an area of yellow that's abnormally dry conditions, but you're starting into this tan shading here, including Lake City of Aldosta. That's a moderate drought. That's where you're really starting to notice the dryness and some of the especially rural terrain and this area in orange. This is now a severe drought that has developed. That includes cities like Tallahassee, Destin and Pensacola. And once you start getting into a severe drought, that's when you really need quite a bit of rainfall to uh, really uh, alleviate the drought conditions. You can see Jacksonville, though, not considered in a drought. So why are we talking about this? Well, it's looking more and more likely we're probably going to be talking about dry conditions for much of the month of December. We talked about this earlier this week in our December outlook, and you can see almost the entire region, including all the state of Florida, has been outlooked here for drier than normal conditions and the darker shade you see right there, including Flagler, Putnam, Alachua counties, that's where drier than normal conditions are e even higher probability. So much of December actually looks pretty dry out there, and that is a recipe for a drought to develop across parts of the area. In fact, this area of gold that you see right here, this includes Jacksonville and then runs up all the way towards the Carolinas. This is an area that the Climate Prediction Center is out looking for drought development, and this is just during the month of December. Now, it may take some time for all this to develop. It doesn't mean it's not going to rain a drop during the month of December. However, it does look like conditions may be favorable here for a drought to kind of get going as we get towards the back end of December heading into the start of January. This is not great news. This is a time of this is a time period where we really need some rainfall because it has consequences down the road as we head into 2023. I want to show you an early preliminary outlook here. This is a significant wildland fire potential outlook. This is done by a fire service and you can see this area of red already popping up for February of 2023. That is where we are going to be talking about the potential for an enhanced wildfire danger as we head towards the late winter early spring months. So it is important that we pick up some rainfall here in the month of December to kind of lessen the threat for brush fire issues, burn bans, and possibly even water restrictions. And that unfortunately may not be in the cards here for the month of December. So bottom line, it's not terrible out there now, but don't be surprised if a at least drought begins to develop in the Jacksonville area as we close out the month of December. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Heckard for Channel 4, the local station.